guy. Yeah. Joe, I guess the obvious question is, how, how is your back feeling after that fall? I'm good. Was it more of a scare? Um, I mean, I uh, felt like he, I was going into hyper extension, but uh, I got caught up and I ended up, you know, putting putting it back in uh, in place. Uh, so kind of, uh, but I'm fine. What did you make, Joe, of uh, how you guys came out and started the game, especially? Uh, you know, we uh, we gambled a lot and we succeeded. Uh, Jimmy and Ben they had a lot of steals. Uh, leading to transition points, uh, and uh, that's the type of intensity we need, especially after the loss of Denver. Joel, just to, just to clarify, when you, when you say put your back back in place, what, what do you mean exactly? Meaning that, uh, you know, uh, man, you're going into hyper extension, but, you know, kind of, I don't know, it just happens. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm fine. Great. So, Brett changed things up and had Jimmy at the one. Did you feel any difference? How was that with him running the point? Oh, I think he did an amazing job uh, just getting everybody open, uh, especially in that, uh, you know, Sapi going with them, me and them. Uh, I think we executed that um, really well, and uh, we still need to work on it to get better, but that was a good start. I thought it was amazing. You mentioned the side pick and roll. Jimmy's been isolating, and he's been healthy the past month as well, a lot more often. How, how, what's the importance of having that installed into your offense, add more, more dimensions to the guys who knew in the half court? Um, you know, he's, he's great uh, because he adds another piece. Uh, I feel like, you know, I'm a, I'm a guy that can do that, uh, you know, create from all over, the, all over the place on the court. And, you know, you can add, you know, Ben can do that too. And you add Jimmy, uh, who has been doing that for a living. It's great. It just opens up everything. And uh, like I said, he did an amazing job just opening the floor for all of us and make plays. You said at times that you don't like shooting threes, but a couple of times they just left you wide open off uh, out of bounds plays. Is that just a matter of just let it fly? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I don't like shooting threes, but you're not gonna disrespect me uh, by uh, giving me a lot of space. And in that situation, I'm gonna shoot it. I mean, um, Joel, I'm Joel and Bill, so you know you, I don't get disrespected. I do the disrespect thing, so. Uh, but uh, no, nah, I thought I thought I was open and let it fly. Uh, there's a couple uh, situations where you know I can work on the uh, my shot selection from the three. Uh, but I thought tonight I was fine. I, I had a few ones that I missed wide open, but um, got to keep working on it. But for the past, I think since Christmas, uh, I've been around 40 percent, so it's getting better. So I'm excited. After two more guys. After five days of not playing a game, just how anxious and how antsy were you to get back out there? I was, I was excited. Uh, I was out of shape, but I was excited because um, um, we had just lost and we needed this one. So I was excited to come back and bring, uh, bring a different type of energy uh, to my teammates and get the win.